Uh, thank you, Jasper. Thank you, everybody on the call. And I'm here to, to share my story with the social media. How did I use social media to build my business? My name is Prudence Indhura. I'm married with two beautiful daughters. And I'm also a business lady. I do business part-time. And the other of my half of my time, I, I, do, I do homeschooling. I teach my children. So my story began in August 2018, when my husband lost his job. And my new life business was paying me by then. It was paying me, but it was paying me about $30. So before that, I was doing my business casually because my husband's income was helping in the house. So when he lost his job in August 2018, that is when I realized I only had new life to do because I asked myself, what do I have? And my answer was my new life business, which I had grown and also taken over from my mother. So it was paying me $30 and there were so many bills to pay. Then I was also looking after my elderly father. So I had to do something about it. So my babies were so young at that time and I stayed home. I was a stay home mom most of the time. Mm -hmm. So I started looking for ways to grow my business while looking after the girls because I had to stay home. One was about five years old and another was about four. So during that time, um, I was overweight. I knew the moment I go back to business, I had to work on my, on my brand, on my image. So I was overweight. So the first thing that I told myself was to change my brand because I went back to reading and I noticed that was the need at that point. So I read so much about weight loss and good enough, I was in a company that had the weight loss products. So I used Provitality and Neo Life Share. And within six to seven months, I was able to lose 22 kilograms. This transformed me and immediately a brand was created. So about that time, um, Krishna from South Africa visited just to see how my business was growing. And she saw a lot of weight being shed off because of the photos and what she had seen previously. So she encouraged me that I could start sharing my story. So I was like, okay, so how do I do it? Now, I was still shy to talk to people because I was at home most of the time and I was... I had to regain back my momentum for the business. So I asked myself, how can I start um, growing my business again and start earning those checks, which give me the confidence and self-esteem so that I can be able to go out there and talk to people. So what I did, I thought of social media. And the first thing I thought of was Facebook. Why did I think of that? It's because most of my OBs, OGs, relatives, and friends spend their time on social media. And, I, and many times I had approached them and encouraged them to use the products to be part of the opportunity and they would shun down the opportunity. So I told myself, what if they see my story and hear me from the social media? And that was my target. My target was to show my relatives and my friends and my OGs what I am representing and what I'm doing. I really wanted to share my story. So I put it in a flyer and then started sharing it on Facebook. I also started sharing it on my WhatsApp status and I, I created broadcasts and I was able to share it with everybody at least weekly. Then when it came to Facebook, I would share it every single day. And at that time, my dream and goal was to build my customer base up to from, I wanted to start from earning $30 per month. I wanted to grow to 
$1,000 per month because of the kind of responsibility that was upon me. So what I did, I said, I'm going to do this until I get what I want. So I kept sharing with everybody. Now the first, I remember the first post that I put, I got so many calls, there were over a hundred messages. Just, you know, they were so amazed at the story that I was sharing because many of them had seen me. And remember my target was to the people who know me. So because they had seen me overweight before. So I got so many calls. Other people were like, no, that must be Photoshop. Others said, no, I have to see you face to face and so on. But I, I now knew it is starting to work because now people were talking to me through the social media. So I kept on doing it. And I noticed that so many people out there have my same problem. And I started saying, if I could change one family one day at a time. So it became my dream and goal to change one family one day at a time. So I would even send out messages that if it's not for you, then tell your relative about it. And I kept on sending the messages and messages and messages. And I remember the third month of um, my husband not working, I, I intensified the, the advertising. So within three months, that's when I started getting positive feedback. People started coming to me and buying the products and I was happy. So from $30 within three months, I started earning about $520 per month. Now I got so excited because now then I was able to put food on the table. I was able to secure some savings for the children to go back to school because one thing we talked with the, with my husband is we never wanted to compromise the kind of education we had wanted for the children. So we started saving for it and then I was also able to, to send money to my dad's home. So it was very, very good. So and you know, I, I knew now the consistency is what is actually bringing people. And you know, when people would see your flyer every other day, that's when it would, you know, go into their brains that yes, surely this thing actually works. So I noticed so many things on my journey to social media and using social media to grow my business. Then one is that people were getting aware of the products and people were seeing the results of the products. So consistency is something that helped me get a lot of customers and I grew a customer base. And when the money also came in, my self-esteem and confidence went up and I was able to talk, start talking to people. Then from the customers, I was also able to convert customers into distributors within the company, that is from social media. Then I also now opened to a wider market. I opened to the world out there. Now I started saying so many families besides my friends need to know about my story. And also one thing that that um, triggered me, I noticed that people out there who don't know you can only connect to you when they listen to your story. So I shared my story a lot. I shared it on WhatsApp. I shared it on Facebook. I shared it on Instagram. I shared it on TikTok. I shared it on LinkedIn and Twitter. I shared it every single day. And I always look forward to talking to that someone, advising, mentoring them, um, creating a brand, becoming a coach, becoming that person that they want to talk to and showing them a company that has products that really work. Now, there is you, I had talked about the reasons why I did that. Remember, I desperately wanted to succeed. And I wanted to change the financial situation at home, but eventually it became a joy for me. And through my challenges, it's what triggered me to, to grow and also jump started my business to a, a level that at least I saw I was helpful within. 
the family. So I shared my story every day, touching so many lives. So the income grew. Customers, yes, have turned to this. So as I speak now, I'm able to take the girls to school. Now, after that, the girls started school and I was glad they started their home school like we had wished for them. And then also I was able to comfortably look after my elderly father and then also travel around the world. And originally I had, I had joined social media just for the basics, just to put food on the table, save for education and help my, my dad. I, one, I never knew I would get a team. Secondly, I never knew I would even travel to Durban like I traveled and met uh, Jasper. So those were bonuses on, on the, using the social media platform and meeting so many people. So what is the advice that I can leave with you when you want to use social media to grow any kind of business? One is you need to have a dream and a goal. There has to be a why, yeah. Me, I had a why, so, and it, because that why pushes you. And even in one week or one month, if you don't receive any phone call or customer coming to you, you still have your why with you. And you're like, no, but people are calling, people are asking about this, they will eventually buy. So you have to have a dream, you have to have a goal. And then develop a mission. My mission was to change one family one day at a time. And I wanted to use it with my story. Then you have to be very patient. Yes, sometimes things are not chop chop. So you need to give your business to grow with time. Now it's just like when I was sharing the weight loss story, if you're going to reduce your weight rapidly, then it will come back. But if you're going to reduce your weight gradually, then also the weight will not, it will keep off and go there. That's the same thing that also you should apply to your business. So when you start using the social media platform for business, allow it to grow gradually. Be very patient, be very consistent, and know that it will eventually work. Then another thing I tell people is develop a story. Develop a story around you. It could be a business story. It could be a product story. Mine was a product story. It could be any other story, but develop it and be very consistent with people. The strangers and the people you don't know, the prospects connect with you through your story. You have sponsored so many people from the US, Ghana, and all other countries just because of my story. And then also it has to be simple and duplicatable. I have a downline actually who sponsors around the world. So it's very duplicatable. So I keep it very simple. Then have a habit of consistency. Don't um, post today then wait for another week, then post. At the time when you're starting to use the social media platform, you have to be consistent every other week or every other day, depending on the schedule that you put on. But let, let the audience look forward to that fantastic Friday or that wonderful Sunday or, or that Thursday that is unique, you know? have a consistency to your viewers out there, the ones that you don't know. And whatever content you put out, let your story come out because that is how you will increase your views. I've increased my customer base up to this very day because of my story that I put out there every single week. I started uh, daily, now I do weekly. So you have to get a customer base and then learn how to learn how to also grow more customers from that from that customer base then de then um de develop a focus like i had said if you're going to do um a business story don't mix up so many things let it be a business story and be consistent within that line that is also going to help you grow in the social media platform. It also helped me. Then have a follow-up system. So many people are going to contact you. So many. So many. There's a lady who 
who contacted me for over three months and she was not getting me. So because I was um, looking after other clients, I was also homeschooling and what, but eventually she got me. And then she told me, pretty yes, I've been looking for you for over three to four months. Now, then she joined the business and then bought the, the weight loss pack and so forth. So when you have a very good follow-up system, you, may, you, may, you will not lose people. Now, you could find that I lost some because of the weak follow-up system that I had. But when she came to me, she was, she's called Jacqueline Kovsinger. She's in my downline. So I immediately had to go back and create a very good follow-up system such that everybody is catered for. At least 90, you, you can't do 100%, but at least 90% is catered for. Then evaluate yourself. Yeah, find out. Has this flyer brought in results? I do a lot of evaluations because you're going to be very creative. So with your creativity, have that evaluation system and then find out that this one has brought in more clients, this one has brought in this number of clients, this one has not worked, how can I improve it? So make sure you have a very good evaluation system that is going to help you grow your market and your business. Then lastly, keep reading and growing. Yes, yeah, so we read. So if you stop reading, you rot. So keep reading and growing. And as I speak now, I'm still growing in the social media industry and also uh, learn your market as well. Like in Uganda, uh, our president stopped Facebook. And before he stopped Facebook, I was doing very well with, with Facebook. But now the social media platform that is working is TikTok. So because TikTok is working so much, I have to develop videos every other day and post on my TikTok. That is how I get people coming in. So learn your market, find out what is available for you, and then use that platform depending on your economic situations. 